Hare Krishna everyone, welcome back to the daily readings of Srila Prabhupada's books. Here on this uh, special day, here in the Hive, in Hive, um, southeast coast of England. Um, Hive means in Anglo-Saxon haven, so we've happily coined the term the haven for our place here. And it's the New Year's, or New Year's Eve, when we say goodbye to 2020, make our New Year's resolu resolutions to improve ourselves in so many ways. Hopefully everyone will make a New Year's resolution to always think of Krishna and never forget Him, which is the goal of Krishna consciousness, whatever else we do. <clears throat> and... It was a very heavy year. It was the worst pandemic since 2008, since 1918, and which triggered economic and political and social uh, problems all over the world, uh, not seen since World War II, and in America, not seen since the Civil War. But many people are becoming awakened to the fact that material solutions do not uh, solve problems. Um, so now it's our duty as a movement for all of us to teach the world that the only solutions come from the spiritual platform and all those solutions are found in Srila Prabhupada's purports purports to Srila Prabhupada's books, the Bhaktivedanta purports, uh, especially Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, I've been reading the Bhagavatam again through the first canto with uh, Radharaman and Dolomora from So Street lately, last few weeks, and uh, the purports are stunning, stunningly simple, but stunningly profound and uh, relevatory when it comes to what the world's problems actually are and what the solutions are. So, like I said, let us make 2021 uh, an even better year for hearing and chanting um, about Krishna and for explaining what we hear. Srila Prabhupada said that hearing and explaining is more important than reading. So, with a wave of educational proposals to increase the uh, knowledge of the movement. Uh, we should not forget the basics of reading the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita cover to cover, hearing directly from Srila Prabhupada uh, what we are supposed to do, and hearing the examples of the greatest souls in the history of the universe, how they did, what they did, to solve the problems of material existence. Okay, that's my New Year speech. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Srila <clears throat> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he who loved the Chaitanya Charitamrita, his life and soul actually, as did our own Srila Prabhupada. Um, so Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur left this poetic glorification of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. He said, In due course, Maha Pralaya, devastating floods, will, in, will inundate the entire universe. If you attempt to survive by swimming in that deluge, then do not neglect to take hold of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Or if you cannot hold all three, then release Bhagavad Gita. If necessary, you may also relinquish Srimad Bhagavatam, but under no circumstances release your hold on Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. For if this one book remains, then the flood can do no actual damage, because after the flood has subsided, the message of Shastra can be revived from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita alone it being the essence of all Shastra. 
Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gauda Bhakta Vrinda now, we've reached the Anchalila 3 and we're going to finish the Anchalila chapter 3 today and hopefully we'll be able to go into chapter 4. But we are hearing something very special. We are hearing a speech by Maya Devi herself, the personification of the material energy. And she is explaining to Haridas Thakur uh, the glories of the holy name and his glories because she she tried she has enticed every single person in the universe including lord brahma into succumbing to her feminine wilds because she's the most beautiful feminine form in the world in the universe but she could not uh, seduce Haridas Thakur. So she is speaking to Haridas Thakur after asking him for initiation. So you want to know what to do about Maya? This is what to do about Maya. We begin with text 257. Maya Devi is speaking. The holy name of Lord Brahma certainly gives liberation, but the holy name of Krishna transports one to, uh, to the other side of the ocean of nations and at last gives one ecstatic love of Krishna. Purport. In an indirect way, this verse explains the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. The Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, includes both the holy name of Lord Krishna and the name of Lord Rama. Lord Rama gives one the opportunity to be liberated, but simply by liberation one does not get actual spiritual benefit. Sometimes if one is liberated from the material world but has no shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, one falls down to the material world again. Liberation is like a state of convalescence in which one is free from a fever but is still not healthy. Even in the stage of convalescence, if one is not careful, one may have a relapse. I read this in 2018, just before I got a relapse of typhoid fever, Hare Krishna. Similarly, liberation does not offer as much security as the shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. It is stated in the Shastra, Yenye Rabindaksha Vimukta Maninas Tvayasta Bhavad Abhishuddha Bodhiyaha Aruya Krishna Padam Padam Tatak Padantado Nadrita Yushmad Angrayaha. O Lord, the intelligence of those who think themselves liberated but who have no devotion is impure. Even though they rise to the highest point of liberation by dint of severe penances and austerities they are sure to fall down again into material existence, for they do not take shelter at your lotus feet. Srimad Bhagavatam 10.2.32 Yushmad Angrayaha refers to the lotus feet of Krishna. If one does not take shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, he falls down. Padantyadaha 
even from liberation. The Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, however, gives liberation and at the same time offers shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. If one takes shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, after liberation, he develops his dormant ecstatic love for Krishna. That is the highest perfection of life. 258. <clears throat> Please give me the holy name of Krishna and thus make me fortunate so that I may flow, so that I also may float in the flood of love of Godhead inaugurated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. See, this is how to conquer Maya. You chant Hare Krishna without offense. 259. After speaking in this way, Maya worshipped the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur, who initiated her by saying, just perform chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Purport. N now even Maya wanted to be favored by Haridas Thakur. Therefore, Haridas Thakur formerly initiated her by asking her to chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. 260 After thus being instructed by Haridas Thakur, Maya left with great pleasure. Unfortunately, some people have no faith in these narrations. 261 Therefore I shall explain the reasons why people should have faith. Everyone who hears this will be faithful. As Jesus said, let those who have ears hear. This is what he meant. I'll read this verse again. Therefore, I shall explain the reasons why people should have faith. Everyone who hears this will be faithful. 262 During the incarnation of Lord Chaitanya to inaugurate the Krishna Consciousness Movement, even such personalities as Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva and the four Kumaras took birth upon this earth being allured by ecstatic love of Lord Krishna. 263 All of them, including the great sage Narada and devotees like Prahlad, came here in the guise of human beings, chanting the holy names of Lord Krishna together and dancing and floating in the inundation of love of Godhead. 264 the goddess of fortune and others, allured by love of Krishna, also came down in the form of human beings and tasted the holy name of the, of the Lord in love. 265. What to speak of others? Even Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj, personally descends to taste the nectar of love of Godhead in the form of the chanting of Hare Krishna. 266. What is the wonder if the maid servant of what is the wonder if the maid servant of Krishna is external energy, begs for love of Godhead? Without the mercy of a devotee, and without the chanting of the holy name of the Lord, love of Godhead cannot be possible. 267. In the activities of of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the three worlds dance and chant, having come in touch with love of Godhead. This is the characteristic of his pastimes. 268. The holy name of Krishna is so attractive that anyone who chants it, including all living entities, moving and non moving, and even Lord Krishna himself, becomes imbued with love of Krishna. This is the effect of chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. 269 
I have heard from the mouth of Raghunath Das Goswami all that Sarup Damodar Goswami recorded in his notes about the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 270. I have described briefly, I have briefly described those pastimes. Whatever I have written is by his mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, since I am an insignificant living being. 271. I have described but a fragment of the glories of Haridas Thakur. Hearing this satisfies the oral reception of every devotee. Sri Rupa Raghunatha Padayara Ash Chaitanya Charitamrita Kahe Krishna Das Praying at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports to Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Anchalila, third chapter, describing the glories of Srila Haridas Thakur. Srila Haridas Thakur ki jai, nam prem ki jai, kor prem anandi, hari hari bo, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai, chanting of Hare Krishna Ma Mantra ki jai, International Society for Krishna Consciousness, one of the main branches of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's the tree of devotional service, ki jai. So there you have it. Food for thought and food to make your New Year's resolutions. <clears throat> Here with faith, without argument, accepting that these pastimes actually happened. They came down from Surup Damodar. He was writing down in his notebook what he saw passed on to Haridas Thakur, I mean to uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, and then on to Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Hare Krishna. Happy New Year. Chapter 4. Another one of my favorites. Sanatan Goswami visits the Lord at Jagannath Puri. The fourth chapter <clears throat> is summarized by Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Amrita Pravaha Bhashya as follows. Srila Sanatana Goswami came alone from Mathura to Jagannath Puri to see Lord Chaitanya. Because of bathing in bad water and not getting enough food every day while traveling on the path through Jaikanda, Jarkhand Forest, he developed a, t a disease that made his body itch. Suffering greatly from this itching, he resolved that in the presence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he would throw himself under the wheel of Jagannath's car and in this way commit suicide. When Sanatana Goswami came to Jagannath Puri, he stayed under the care of Haridas Thakur for some time, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy to see him. The Lord informed Sanatana Goswami about the death of his younger brother, Hanupam, who had great faith in the lotus feet of Lord Ramachandra. One day Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to Sanatana Goswami, Your decision to commit suicide is a result of the mode of ignorance. One cannot get love of God simply by committing suicide. You have already dedicated your life and body to me, to my service. Therefore, your body does not belong to you, nor do you have any right to commit suicide. I have, I have to execute many devotional services through your body. I want you to preach the cult of devotional service and go to Vrindavan to execute the lost holy places, to excavate the lost holy places. After having thus spoken, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left and Haridas Thakur and Sanatana Goswami had many talks about this subject. 
One day, Sanatana Goswami was summoned to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who wanted him to come to Yameshwara Tota. Sanatana Goswami reached the Lord through the path along the beach by the sea. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Sanatana Goswami which way he had come, Sanatana replied, Many servitors of Lord Jagannath come and go on the path by the Singadora gate of the Jagannath temple. Therefore, I did not go by that path, but instead went by the beach. Sanatan Goswami did not realize that there were burning blisters on his feet because, the heat of the sand, because of the heat of the sand. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was pleased to hear about Sanatan Goswami's great respect for the temple of Lord Jagannath. But his disease produced wet sores on his body. Sanatana Goswami used to avoid embracing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but nevertheless, the Lord would embrace him by force. This made Sanatana Goswami very unhappy, and therefore he consulted Jagadananda, Jagadananda Pandit about what he should do. Jagadananda <clears throat> advised him to return to Vrindavan after the car festival of Jagannath. But when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard about his this instruction, he chastised Jagadananda Pandit and remind him that Sanatana Goswami was senior to him and also more learned. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu informed Sanatana Goswami that because Sanatana was a pure devotee, the Lord was never inconvenienced by his bodily condition. Because the Lord was a sannyasi, he did not consider one body better than another. The Lord also informed him that he was maintaining Sanatan and the other devotees just like a father. Therefore, the moisture oozing from Sanatan's itching skin did not affect the Lord at all. After speaking, speaking with Sanatan Goswami in this way, the Lord again embraced him, and after this embrace, Sanatan Goswami became free from the disease. The Lord offered, the Lord ordered. Sanatana Goswami to stay with him for that year and the next year after seeing the Rathayatra festival Sanatana Goswami left Purushottam Chetra and returned to Vrindavan. After meeting Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sri Rupa Goswami also returned to Bengal where he remained for one year. Whatever money he owned he distributed among his relatives the brahmanas and the temples. In this way, he completely retired and returned to Vrindavan and to meet Sanatan Goswami. After narrating these incidents, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has given a list of the main books of Sanatan Goswami, Srila Rupa Goswami and Jiva Goswami. <clears throat> Text 1 When Sanatana Goswami returned from Vrindavan, <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu affectionately saved him from his determination to commit suicide. Then, after testing him, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu purified his body. Text 2 All glories to Lord Chaitanya all glories to Lord Nityananda. All glories to Advaita Acharya, Advaita Chandra, Advaita Chandra. All glories to Advaita Chandra, and all glories to all the devotees of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Text three. <clears throat> when Srila Rupa Goswami returned from Jagannath Puri to Bengal. Sanatana Goswami went from, from Mathura to Jagannath Puri to, Shri, to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Text 4 Sanatana Goswami walked alone on the path through the Jarikanda forest in central India. Sometimes he fasted and sometimes he would eat. Text 5 Because of bad water in the Jarikanda forest, and because of fasting, 
Sanatana Goswami contracted a disease that made his body itch. Thus he was afflicted, afflicted with itching sores from which fluid oozed. Text 16 In disappointment, Sanatana Goswami considered, I am, a, I am of a low caste, I am of a low caste, and my body is useless for devotional service. Text 7 When I go to Jagannath Puri, I shall not be able to see Lord Jagannath, nor shall I always be able to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I have heard that the resident, residential quarters of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are near the temple of, of Jagannath, but I, has, I, shall have, I shall not have the power to go near the temple. Text 9 The servants of Lord Jagannath generally move about tending to their duties, but if they touch me, I shall be an offender. Text 10 Therefore, if I sacrifice this body in a good place, my unhappiness will be mitigated and I shall attain an exalted destination. Text 11 During the Ratyatra festival, when Lord Jagannath comes out of the temple, I shall give up this body under the wheel of this car. Text 21 After seeing Lord Jagannath, I shall give up my body under the wheel of the car and the presence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This will, give, this will be the highest benediction of my life. Text 13 Having made this resolution, Sanatana Goswami went to Nilachala, where he asked directions from people and approached the residence of Haridas Thakur. Text 14 He offered his respects to the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur, who knew him and thus embraced him. Text 15 Sanatana Goswami was very eager to see the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore Haridas Thakur said, The Lord is coming here very soon. Text 6 At that very moment, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after visiting the temple of Jagannath to see the offering of Upala Bhoga, morning refreshments, came with his other devotees to see Haridas Thakur. Text 17 Seeing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, both Haridas Thakur and Sanatana Goswami immediately fell flat like rods to offer obeisances. The Lord then lifted Haridas and embraced him. Haridas Thakur said to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Here is Sanatana Goswami, offering his obeisances. Seeing Sanatana Goswami, the Lord was greatly surprised. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came forward to embrace him, Sanatana backed away and spoke as follows. My Lord, please do not touch me. I, fell at, I fall at your lotus feet. I am the lowest of men, having been born of a low caste. Besides that, I have infections on my body. 21. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, however, embraced Sanatana Goswami by force. Thus the moisture oozing from the itching sores touched the transcendental body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 22. The Lord introduced all the devotees to Sanatana Goswami who offered his respectful obeisances under the lotus feet of them all. 23. The Lord and his devotees sat on a raised platform and below and below that sat Haridas Thakur and Sanatan Goswami. 24. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired from Sanatan about news of his well-being. Sanatan replied, Everything is auspicious because I have seen your lotus feet. Text 25 When the Lord asked about all the Vaishnavas at Mathura, Sanatana Goswami informed him of their good health and fortune. 
26. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu informed Sanatana Goswami. Sri Rupa Goswami was here for 10 months. He left for Bengal just 10 days ago. 27. Your brother Anupam is now dead. He was a very good devotee who had firm conviction in Raghunath, Lord Ramachandra. Ramachandra. 28. Sanatana Goswami said, I was born in a low family, for my family commits all kinds of re irreligious acts that violate the revealed scriptures, re reveal the scriptural injunctions, rather. Excuse me. Sanatana Goswami said, I was born in a low family, for my family commits all kinds of irreligious, irreligious acts that violate the scriptural injunctions. 29. My Lord, without hatred for my family, you have accepted me as your servant. Only by your mercy is there good fortune for my family. Text 30. From the very beginning of his childhood, my younger brother Anupam was a great devotee of Raghunath, Lord Ramachandra, and worshipped him with great determination. 31. He always chanted the holy name of Raghunath and meditated upon him. He continuously heard about the activities of the Lord from the Ramayan and chanted about them. 32. Rupa and I are his elder brothers. He stayed with us continuously. He heard Srimad Bhagavatam and talks about Lord Krishna with us and both of us examined him. Dear Balaba, we said, please hear from us. Lord Krishna is supremely attractive. His beauty, his beauty, sweetness and pastimes of love are without limit. 35. Engage yourself in devotional service to Krishna with the two of us. We three brothers shall stay together and enjoy discussing the pastimes of Lord Krishna. 36. In this way we spoke to him again and again. And because of this persuasion <clears throat> and his respect for us, his mind turned somewhat toward our instructions. 37. Balaba said, My dear brothers, how can I disobey your orders? Initiate me into the Krishna mantra so that I may perform devotional service to Lord Krishna. 38. After saying this, at night he began to think, How shall I give up the lotus feet of Lord Raghunath? 39. He stayed up all night and cried. In the morning he came to us and submitted the following plea. Text 40. I have sold my head at the lotus feet of Lord Ramachandra. I cannot take it away. That would be too painful for me. The two of you please be merciful to me and order me in such a way that life after life I may serve the lotus feet of Lord Raghunath. Text 42 It is impossible for me to give up the lotus feet of Lord Raghunath. When I even think of giving them up, my heart breaks. Upon hearing this, we each embraced him and encouraged him by saying, you are a great saintly devotee, for your determination in devotional service is fixed. In this way, we praised him. 44. My dear Lord, the family upon which you bestow even a little mercy is always fortunate, for such mercy makes all miseries disappear. Text 45 Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, There was a similar incident concerning Murari Gupta. Formerly, I examined him, and his determination was similar. Glorious is that devotee who does not give up the shelter of his Lord, and glorious is that Lord who does not abandon his servant. 
Text 47 If by chance a servant falls down and goes somewhere else, glorious is that master who captures him and brings him back by the hair. Text 48 It is very good that you have arrived here. Now, stay in this room with Haridas Thakur. 49 Both of you are expert in understanding the mellows of Lord Krishna's devotional service. <clears throat> Therefore, you should both continue relishing the taste for such activities and chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. Text 50 Having said this, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu got up and left, and through Govinda he sent prasadam for them to eat. Text 51 In this way, Sanatan Goswami stayed under the care of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He would see the wheel of the pin on the pinnacle of the Jagannath temple and offer respectful obeisances. 52 Every day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would go there to meet these two stalwart devotees and discuss topics of Krishna with them for some time. The offerings of prasadam in the temple of Lord Jagannath were of the highest quality. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would bring this prasadam and deliver it to the two devotees. 54. One day when the Lord came to meet them, He suddenly began speaking to Sanatan Goswami. My dear Sanatan, He said, if I could attain Krishna by committing suicide, I would certainly give up millions of bodies without a moment's hesitation. You should know that one cannot attain Krishna simply by giving up the body. Krishna is attainable by devotional service. There is no other means for attaining Him. 57. Acts such as suicide are influenced by the mode of ignorance and in ignorance and passion, one cannot understand who Krishna is. Text 58 <clears throat> Unless one discharges devotional service, one cannot awaken one's dormant love for Krishna. And there is no means for attaining Him other than awakening that dormant love. 59. The Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna said, My dear Uddhava, neither through Ashtanga Yoga, the mystic yoga system for controlling the senses, nor through impersonal monism, nor an analytical study of the Absolute Truth, nor through study of the Vedas, nor through austerities, charity, or acceptance of sannyas, can one satisfy me as much as by developing unalloyed devotional service unto me? This verse is from Srimad Bhagavatam 11.14.20 Measures like suicide are causes for sin. A devotee never achieves shelter at Krishna's lotus feet by such actions. Text 61 <clears throat> Because of feelings of separation from Krishna, an exalted devotee sometimes wants to give up his life. By such ecstatic love, however, one attains the audience of Krishna. And at that time, he cannot give up his body. <laughs> 62. One who is deeply in love with Krishna cannot tolerate separation from the Lord. Therefore, such a devotee always desires his own death. 63. O Lotus Eyed One, great personalities like Lord Shiva desire to bathe in the dust of your lotus feet to drive away ignorance. If I do not get the mercy of your Lordship, I shall observe vows to reduce the duration of my life 
and thus I shall give up bodies for hundreds of births if it is possible to get your mercy in that way. Purport. This was a this verse was spoken by Rukmini Devi in Srimad Bhagavatam ten fifty two forty three. Rukmini Devi, the daughter of King Bhishmaka Bhishmaka, had heard about Krishna's transcendental attributes, and thus she desired to get Krishna as her husband. Unfortunately, her elder brother Rukmi was envious of Krishna and therefore wanted her to be offered to Shishupal. When Rukmini became aware of this, she was greatly aggrieved. Thus she wrote Krishna a confidential letter, which was presented and read to him by a Brahmana messenger. This verse appeared in that letter. 64 O oh dear Krishna, by your smiling glances, and melodious talk, you have, you have awakened the fire of lusty desire in our hearts. Now you should extinguish that fire by a stream of nectar from your lips by kissing us. Kindly do this. Otherwise, dear friend, the fire within our hearts will burn our bodies to ashes because of separation from you. Thus, by meditation, we shall claim shelter at your lotus feet. Purport. This verse, ten Srimad Bhagavatam ten twenty nine thirty five, was spoken by the gopis when they were attracted by the vibration of Krishna's flute in the moonlight of autumn. All of them, being maddened, came to Krishna, but to increase their ecstatic love, Krishna gave them moral instructions to return home. The gopis did not care for these instructions. They wanted to be kissed by Krishna, for they had come there with lusty desires to dance with him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Sanatana Goswami, Give up all your nonsensical desires, for they are unfavorable for getting shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Engage yourself in chanting and hearing then you will soon achieve the shelter of Krishna without a doubt. And I'm going to stop here. It's 8 o'clock. Thank you very much for listening on this glorious New Year's Eve evening. We already have the material for our New Year's resolutions and as, as I said before we began to read just chant Hare Krishna with more greater and greater love for Krishna with feelings of separation for Krishna and engage in unalloyed devotional service by trying to make others by trying to remind others of Krishna and the truths in the Vedas especially Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. In this way, all our problems will be finished and we can be happy even in a world that is so problematic nowadays. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. If there's any reflections or comments or further discussions, please feel free. We've got our trusty Abai Das Brahmachari manning the open mic transmitting your thoughts. To the rest of us. Comment from Rati Manjari. Hare Krishna Rati. She says, Dear Guru Maharaj, all glory is unto you. Please accept my most humble obeisances. Hare Krishna. Thank you for brightening up my 
every evening for several years in a row now. <laughs> Tonight, at the final evening of this tumultuous year, I humbly wish to thank you for leading and inspiring me to want to become a devotee of Krishna by spoon-feeding me real knowledge. May your upcoming year be full of bliss and joy and boundless energy to accomplish everything you want in the service of His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Well, I thank you very much and I uh, graciously accept that thought and uh, pray to all the Vaishnavas that I can accomplish in this next year, as soon as possible actually, uh, the completion of the audiobook of this Chaitanya Charitamrita uh, uh, to be published as the official BBT audiobook of the same. Uh, in this way, please, Srila Prabhupada, because uh, he was very pleased uh, when his books were published. And we're realizing that publishing the audiobook of these books, which has never been done before as an official BBT publication, uh, will please Prabhupada very much. And in this day of uh, grief and complication, uh, where it's difficult to sit down and read for anyone but just because of the atmosphere, but still we can hear. And these pastimes being put in this audiobook format, may they uplift the world, purify the world, and give someone in the world pure love for Krishna, Hare Krishna. Rati Manjari says, may your desire come true without delay. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. And uh, from Sudevi, Lassie. Hare Krishna, Sudevi. She says, Happy New Year, Maharaj. You made 2020 so bearable for me for many reasons <laughs> and 2021 no longer scares me <laughs> Jaya Srila Prabhupada's books and your daily rescue thank you Haribo. thank you thank you Sir Devi it's been a pleasure what pleasure is all mine Hare Krishna and a comment from Noel Bhakti Noel Bhakti Noel Hare Krishna says, Maharaj, I appreciated today in the reading that Sanatana Goswami did not want to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his condition, and when he did see him, he embraced him. He then finally reminds him that suicide is a mode of ignorance, and he only needs to perform devotional service. It seems once you get the taste and by chance fall down, it is the glorious master who captures him and brings him back. Yes. Shelter is always there. Yes. Always a work in progress. Yes. And a comment from Dayal Nitai. Hare Krishna Dayal Nitai. He says, Dear and respected Sri the Guru Maharaj, please accept my obeisance. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Our gratitude to you for indiscriminately submerging us in the invaluable teachings and pastimes of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his very special devotees. Also special is that the deities on the altar there in the haven seem to change outfits every day. Oh, you noticed. Beautiful. Yes, we, we made some new photos and now we can see different uh, outfits and different uh, decorations of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. This is from Nubrajada. Many of the photos are from Nubrajada. We have also from Vrindavan Dham. Radha Shamasundra also there. And we have Radha Gokulam, uh, Radha Landanishwara from London, who is the closest installed Radha Krishna deity to us. So in this way we are relishing life. And the Bhagavad Brahmachari cleans every day and, and very carefully uh, keeps the altar you know, ecstatic. I have also another picture coming of my deity, the whole altar. There's one picture here 
above Radha Krishna that is part of my altar in Govardhan and uh, the Srila that is there has imprinted on, not imprinted, but on the face of it uh, a black uh, stone uh, Krishna laying down and just above him is Radharani coming in to the cave or the kunj and it was uh, shown to me by Krishna when I went to uh, take the Srila to worship and this is the Srila that came into my eyes. So, yes, this is daily worship and, if, and every morning we sit for an hour and chant Mangalarati prayers and Mangalacharana prayers, different prayers and uh, offering prayers to the different Vaishnavas in our line. Of course, in Srila Prabhupada, the source of their teachings to us and then we have the Tulchi worship. Then we have Chad, uh, a, ch a chapter of Gita. And we have a discussion every morning on the chapter and read some purports and discuss. And then we chant our rounds. And uh, in this way, the altar comes to life by receiving our devotional service. It's so simple, and anyone can do this anywhere, in any home. Hare Krishna. Thank you for noticing. Very attentive. He says, wishing you and all your associates a healthy and joyful New Year. Mm. And to you. Comment from Bhakta Charlie. Hare Krishna Bhakta Charlie, welcome home. He says, Hare Krishna Maharaj, it's so nice to hear about how these great devotees deal with one another, so respectful and kind. Oops. Yes, this is the goal. Actually, these devotees are present in the sound of their pastimes and if we associate with them and aspire to follow in their footsteps and act like them and think like them and be like them then our success in spiritual life is guaranteed he had a question attached to that also. Mm. he said how can we be sure to develop this kind of culture within ourselves and in our dealings with others here with rapt attention and cultivate the desire to be like them and then look out in the world through that knowledge and through that experience and treat other people in the same way. He says, thank you, Maharaj, for these readings. They'll surely be a highlight of my 2020 and hopefully for 2021. Thank you. Please. Hare Krishna. From Bhakta Ben. Hare Bhakta Ben. He says, Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Give up your nonsensical desires, for they are unfavorable for getting shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Mm. Engage yourself in chanting and hearing, then you will soon achieve the shelter of Krishna, mm. without a doubt. Yes. An appropriate verse to end the year on for me. Thank you for your help this year. Looking forward to leveling up, leveling up my game in this coming year and refocusing on the goal. Yes, you've heard. We all heard tonight. Uh, it was very, very important. Uh, how if we just hear with faith, and and he then then 
Krishna Gavrikar Goswami said, if you hear this, you will get faith. And that faith means in the beginning to accept that they happened these pastimes, that they're not just stories, they actually happened. And then he gave the evidence that they, they came from the notebooks of Srup Damodar through the memory of, of, of Raghunath Das Goswami and the memory of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. These are very highly elevated personalities who had beautiful memories and pure hearts and minds and they can remember everything. Hare Krishna. Since I pray I will be able to become serious about hearing and chanting and I pray I can properly associate with the devotees despite my offensive nature. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Very nice. Thank you so much. All glories to you. Happy New Year. Hare Krishna. Happy New Year. Uh, Rati Manjari requested me to read this out loud. She said, Thank you, Abhai Das Prabhu, for taking such good care of Maharaj day after day and expertly supporting his amazing devotional service. Well, wow, that is the understatement of the century. Abhai Das Brahmachari is doing everything to take care, clean and cook and shop and goes out every day into the public and gives books and chants and distributes cookies, prasadam, which he cooks himself. And yes, he's making uh, my life possible, Hare Krishna. I'm eternal, eternally grateful to him for his wonderful devotional service. And the special characteristic of his devotional service is that I never have to ask him practically to do anything. He just watches, notices, and then does what needs to be done without me asking. In that way, uh, my life has become uh, effortless and blissful. Hare Krishna. I wish him the happiest New Year's and a year of continued spiritual growth. Hare Krishna. Okay, I will stop here. I thank you all very much for your lovely uh, year of hearing and chanting together. When we hear and chant together, we become very close because we're all associating with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates. And therefore, we all become very close. And this is the way. This is the way to attain perfection in devotional service. Hare Krishna. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Sama Bheda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Gaur Prem Anandi Hari Hari Bo We put 220 in the past. And we welcome 221 as our future. See you tomorrow night, the first day of 2021. Make that resolution. Always remember Krishna and never forget Him under any circumstance. Then your life will become perfect. See you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.